Hey y'all, let's look at converting from scientific notation to standard notation. Um, it's not letting me move today. Where did it go today? Hey, 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 gotta love technology. Okay, let me zoom out real quick. Oh, awesome. Look, actually, let me go a little bit smaller this time. Um, okay, so that was our scientific notation. I like the size of this. So I'm actually just going to delete the whole canvas. So what we're going to do is convert from scientific notation to standard notation. Okay, so our, whoop, our standard notation is going to be the way that you're used to just writing a normal number. Um, so it'll be either really, really small or it'll be really, really big. Um, let's see. So what we're going to do is if exponent is positive, then the decimal I don't know why I can't spell that. Then the decimal moves to the right. So if our exponent is positive, our decimal moves to the right. And then similarly, if exponent is negative, the decimal moves where? Yep, to the left. It moves leg, just so you know. So if our decimal is negative, it, I'm sorry, if our exponent is negative, then our decimal moves to the left. Let's do an example. <clears throat> Say what we're given is two. 0 0.70x multiplied by, is how you would say that, multiplied 10 to the 7th power. Because I see this multiplication symbol, that's how I know. If it doesn't tell me what I'm doing is converting, this is how I know. Um, in the other problems that we would do when we would be working with exponents, we would not use this because as far as our variables are concerned, it looks like the variable x. Um, 99.9% .9 of the time, though, it's going to tell you to either convert to standard or convert to scientific, okay? So, well, let's see. What did my note say? My note said that if my exponent is positive, good, it is, decimal moves to the right. So, let me rewrite by itself, and let's move it to the right. How many times? Yep, whatever the number our exponent is seven times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now that's where my decimal is. What you do is you fill in the zeros. When we write this number, you don't have to put the decimal at the end because it's going to end up being a really large number. Um, if we actually rewrite this, what do we get? Two seven zero one two three four five one two three four five. We add our commas for every third. That is a very large number. That would be the answer to that problem. Okay, so let's do this other example. Say we have one and then our multiplication symbol ten to the negative nine. Okay, well, it had told me that if my exponent is negative, which it is, the decimal moves to the left. So let me go ahead and write this number. <clears throat> um, in this one, I don't have a decimal, right? But didn't we learn in the last video that if you don't see a decimal, it is implied that it is right there, right? It's going to be right after our value. Now, because my exponent is negative, what it wants me to do is move my decimal to the left. 
And the number of times we move is our value of our exponent, which would be nine. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's where our decimal is. What you do in all of these spots is you add zeros. Now, whether or not you put a zero in front of the decimal or not, that is kind of up to you. It doesn't change the value any. Um, let me rewrite this. Reading it from left to right, I start at a decimal, right? Then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight zeros, and one. Do you agree with me that that's a very, very small number? That's why I would use scientific notations because it was a very small number. And then for our 27 million, I would use scientific notation because it's a very large number. Okay, so that's it as far as converting from scientific notation and converting back to standard notation. If you don't have any questions, make sure you ask, okay? Thanks, bye.